Hello and welcome to tutorial number four of our interior scene modeling 3D Studio Max. Now on the last tutorial we worked on the materials, the blankets around the bed and in today's lesson we want to work on the pillows. So let's go ahead and go over to our create panel, select, make sure we've got geometry selected and then select the box. Go over to your top viewport and just create a box of around that size. And use your front and left viewport to guide you with the height. Once you've got something that's okay, just drag that box up. And we're gonna be working on this. Size doesn't matter right now, we can uh, re-edit this in a second. So go over to your modify panel. We're gonna modify these parameters. 3 for the length segments and then 3 for the width for the height we just have 2 there are many different ways to modeling a pillow in 3D Studio Max but this is just one I'll show you other ways later on so go over and apply the edit poly modifier to this use your front viewport click and drag to select all the vertices and move them down like so. Once that's done, go over to your left viewport and do the same thing. And now you can already see we've got the, the pillow shape. Please select everything and go over to the, and go back to the modify panel and apply the FFD four by four. Click on the little plus sign there to drop these settings down. And we're gonna say, con we're gonna select the control point as you click on those, you notice we can actually play around with these. So just sort of do move certain bit at random, but not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mesh smooth modifier to that. Be careful you don't increase the iterations to more than three, then it might get too heavy. So I'm going to use three for this tutorial. As soon as you hit F4, look at this, we've already got our pillow pretty much done. Now the FFD, you don't have to apply it before, before getting the mesh smooth on. You can always do that later. And if you applied it before, you can add another one now and just play around with it till it looks much like a pillow. Drop that down again, control the point. And then go over. And I think that's all right for now. So let's duplicate that. Go to your select and uniform tool just make that a little bit smaller and then select that as well hold down shift and drag it to the other side so you can move this around a little bit so they don't look too symmetrical And there you go, we've got our pillows done. I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. In the next lesson, we'll be creating the bedside cabinets. 
and this top part here. So thanks for tuning in to this tutorial. I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye for now.